This is a great day. Um, it's a historic day. Uh, I walked through the gates at Cargo Fleet Works uh, a few years ago now, worried about what a career in this industry would throw at me. Had I foreseen the events of the last two years, I would have probably turned around and walked straight back out again. But what kept me in this industry, brought me back to Seaside, is what has kept me going through the past two years. It's the character, determination and passion of the people who work here and who live in this part of the world. The credit for this transaction has to go to two companies, Tata Steel and Sahaviria Steel. And I must pay tribute to the work that the people from both these companies have put into this deal. It's not an understatement to say that these teams have worked tirelessly to make this happen. My limited but positive experience of SSI is that they are passionate about the steel industry. Over the past months, they have become very attached to Teesside and the people of Teesside. I believe this is an excellent match. They will be good for the region, they'll be good for their employees, and they'll be good for the community as a whole. If you look on SSI's website, one of their six key values is fighting spirit. They never give up. This is a value they clearly share with the people of Teesside. Over the past two years, dealing with the massive implications of losing steelmaking on Teesside has required dedication and commitment of heroic proportions. Looking back, it is incredible to see what has been achieved and what people in this community were prepared to go through and the time they sacrificed to the Save Our Steel campaign. We never gave up. A great deal of that effort went unseen but deserves some mention here. The redeployment and management of what at one time looked like over 2,000 employees being made redundant, plus those affected in the supply chain, could, could not have taken place without the support of One North East, led by Alan Clark, and Job Centre Plus. Together with Tata Management and the trade unions, they provided support for over 5,000 individuals, and I would particularly mention the devotion of our HR Director John Baker and his team to this cause. We also received unwavering support from many leading figures in the community. From Redcar and Cleveland Council, Amanda Skelton, and George Dunning, who apparently has had 30 years in the steel industry. Middlesbrough Mayor Ray Mallon, and Chairman of Middlesbrough Football Club, Steve Gibson. I'd like also to mention Bob Cuff from the Evening Gazette, and support from many people in the media whose support has been invaluable. And there are so many others. Those of us at Teesside were also delighted to welcome so many important visitors who all helped in their support for us. Visits from His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, the Archbishop of York and the Bishop of Whitby typified support shown to us during very difficult times. The support from local MPs was also critical, most recently from Tom Blenkinsop and Ian Swales. But I would like to recognise the support of the late Ashok Kumar and the important role that Vera Baird played in this campaign. Her contribution was more significant than I think people realised. I must, of course, pay tribute to the trade unions, both nationally and locally. The local trade unions were unbelievable throughout. They were the campaign managers, and on many occasions kept my head up when times were particularly difficult. In particular, I'll highlight the contributions of the shy and unassuming Jeff Waterfield. <laughs> Jeff E to his friends. But finally I want to pay tribute to our employees and all who worked and continue to work for TCP, their families and all those connected to the business who have demonstrated a resolve and determination that has finally paid off. May I take this opportunity to thank you for your loyalty and support and on behalf of the Tata Steel Company wish you every success in the future. I know you will justify the confidence which SSI has shown in concluding this deal. Today is a great celebration and I'm so very proud for all concerned. Thank you. So with that, it's my pleasure and honour to hand over custody of steelmaking on Teesside, hopefully for many years to come, to Mr Wynne and SSI. Thank you.
Thank you, John. Um, good morning, Teesside. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you uh, all uh, for coming here today uh, to share this proud moment uh, with us. Uh, the new SSI employees and management, uh, Tata employees, many uh, former uh, employees here, the key representatives from Teesside and Northeast region business and industries, uh, MPs and local government representatives, um, local education institutions, and the local and national trade union representatives. Today would not have been possible uh, without your support, so thank you very much. I would also like to, to thank Tata Steel and their people in particular. They have been wonderfully supportive of this transaction and without their support this would not have happened. So thank you again. Uh, I am also delighted that the Thai ambassador uh, and his colleagues have joined us here today. For today is not only a proud day for SSI but also a proud day for Thailand. Our investment uh, of 300 million pound and our further uh, investment commitment of roughly 300 million pound to invest uh, in Teesside will be the biggest uh, investment by a Thai company in UK and I hope that this will be the pioneer uh, that will lead many other Thai companies to come to UK and particularly to the Northeast uh, for future investment. Uh, it's a really historic, historic and wonderful day today. Today marks the end of a painful journey. For our Thai people who has been here for many months doing the due diligence, they tell me how delighted it is that spring has finally come. <laughs> and they tell me how they have suffered in the cold weather uh, of the last couple of months. Um, I did a little bit of due diligence before I signed the MOU in August. I've been told many times that it doesn't get really cold here, it doesn't snow. But if you remember in December, uh, when you know roads and airports shut down and our Thai people were stranded here, so that was our suffering. But our suffering is nothing compared to what the workforce and the community has gone through several years of uncertainty and the last two years of hardship. This is really unbearable. We, today marks the end of that hardship. You have proven to us and to the world that you can fight. You have taught us that if you believe in something, and if you don't give up fighting, anything is possible. We have joined you in that fight. You have supported us in that fight. We have come together. Today, we become one. Today also marks, thank you. Today also marks a new beginning a new journey. This journey means not just the beginning of restoration, restoration of steel making on Teesside, but we, we envision it to be the rise of Teesside steel in the world. That begins today. We know that plenty of hard work lies ahead of us. We know that it's a big responsibility is required of us, but we also know that it will be a wonderful journey because we have a clear vision of where we're heading, because we have learned this fighting spirit from you, and because we will be taking this journey with you. Thank you, Teesside. God bless you.